Hey guys, I'm gonna wait just a moment for people to sign on. It's been a while since we've been on Facebook uh, with a video and um, got something on my heart. I, something I'm wondering if you've heard, um, maybe you're going through a tremendous battle, a low point in life and I, there's something you need to hear and maybe you're fine. Maybe you're on the mountaintop, you know, and you're doing great, but somebody you know needs to hear this. So I'm gonna ask you to please share this and um, uh, let me know where you're watching from like we've been doing when we did the other videos we've done Just let me know. It's good to know where you're watching from I, If you've got prayer requests post them when I go back and read the comments, I'll pray for you But um, I really do I want you to share this because this is a word from God It's really on been on my heart for a while and it's the first time we've been back on Facebook in a while with a video so um, I want to get right to it First of all, in, in Mark the sixth chapter, there's a story about Jesus and he sends his disciples to go across the lake. Now, when he sent them across the lake, the Bible says he constrained them to go. He made them go. They didn't want to go. They wanted to stay where they were at because he had fed the people with thousands with the, the bread and the fishes and they wanted to make Jesus a king and the disciples wanted to make him a king right then. They, they wanted everything to just be fixed and made right. He, the Messiah had come and they wanted everything to just bam be there and that's how we are we want things to be right right when we want it right we've got god all around us i feel god here to, today with this video and we want him to fix it but for some reason sometimes god says no i'm not gonna fix it matter of fact i'm gonna, I'm gonna make you go into a worse situation see sometimes you can pray and things get worse sometimes when you're weak and you say i can't take anymore God allows you to be made weaker. I don't understand it all, but I believe I do have something that you need to hear. I think this is something that will help you. It's something that helps me. When he made them go out into the lake and a storm arose, they were by themselves. The Bible says they toiled and rode all night. At the fourth watch of the night, which is around 3 a.m., Christ comes walking on the water to where they're at. Now, this is what gets me. This is what really shakes me up. The Bible says that he saw them from a distance. See, it was dark. God sees you in the darkest place you're at. He sees everything that's going on. He sees your struggle. He sees the problems you're facing. He knows everything about you. As a matter of fact, the Bible says he sees the sparrow when he falls in the woods. There's nothing that God doesn't see and God's not in control of. The Bible says the hairs on your head are numbered. He saw them. But even though he saw them, the Bible says he would have passed them by but they called out to him. Now listen, he knows what they're going through. He knows how bad it is. He sent them in the storm and yet he was still gonna pass them by. He wanted them to understand without a shadow of a doubt that in their weakest moments, in the greatest trial of your life, God sees you and if God chooses to allow you to stay there for a season, trust him, trust him. Don't trust what you see, don't trust what you know, don't trust what other people try to tell you. You trust God because God has got you in the palm of his hand. Some people say, "How does, does God really know me? God says he's engraved us in the palm of his hand. And this really touched my heart. I've heard this scripture a hundred times. You've heard it too, but I'm going to ask you right now. Have you heard? Have you heard this? Isaiah chapter 40, verse 28. Hast thou not known? Hast thou not heard? that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. Even the youth shall faint, and the weary and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. If you, if you drop dead, God has the power to raise you up. Whatever the situation is, extreme, God has the power to raise you up and set you free. God has the power to give you strength. When you are the weakest, when you have nowhere to turn and you can't, you can't even comprehend how you're going to take another breath, you can't see another day, God will make you strong. Because when you're weak, that's when he can move in your life mightily. We're prideful people. I speak for myself. We're very prideful. We're very strong-willed. I'm strong-willed. I, I, I want it now. I want it done now. God says, no, it'll be done on my time. And when it's done, he'll get the glory 
and my faith will be increased. I pray this blesses someone out there today. And I pray for you right now, what you're going through, the trial, the, the, the problems in your life, that you understand God does love you. He, he sees you. He's not forgotten you. He's got too much invested in you to walk away from you. He says, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. Our Father and our God, I thank you, Lord, for the message you've laid on my heart. I pray for every person that watches this video, either now or in the future. Bless them. Let them see you in it, not me. Let them hear your voice and not mine. I give you all the praise and the glory. Let the words of our mouths, the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in your sight. O oh, Lord, our strength and our redeemer in Jesus' name. Amen.